Your time in Midgard is over now. the area safer for a time. My brother!
this giant? I bet you hide real good! Hide and hunt is a true warrior's game. It is good that you play it. Then play with us. This lot's easy, but you'd be hard to find. Go hide with the others. After the count, I'll seek you out like the mighty wolf Fenrir. Everyone hides while I count down. And after the count, I will seek you out. Everyone go hide, but stay in the village. Outside the village is out of bounds. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ready or not? I mean, the wolf did. Brrr. Oh, no fair. You're too good. No, you're just bad. Because you always hide in the same spot. Closer. My keen wolf nose is picking up a scent. Giant, you won the game. I lie not. You won. I surrender, Giant. children play well and stay warm a warrior's game in these times even children must hide from two-legged wolves get ready for hide and hunt everyone come on we... hide and hunt is a true warrior's game it is good that you play it then play with us this lot's easy but you'd be hard to find go hide with the others after the count, I'll seek you out like the mighty wolf Fenrir. Everyone hides while I count down. And after the count, I will seek you out. Everyone...
man's home burning yet he was hopeful and death stood outside his door it is always better to live even in misery Best not to draw attention here. upon these ancient timbers, tarred for preservation, to mark my sacred symbol and pinpoint the source of their power. As I pray, the Lord sends through me the voice of a holy spirit. It reverberates with the finery of ancient language, and I am made anew. Were these timbers carried by the Nephilim? Barriers against invasions from afar? Please, Lord. Let this truth shineth upon me as bright as your word doth. I need your eyes, my friend.
such odd energies, lying here unseen. Go on. Try it yourself. Eivor. Come. Stand here and look out over the fjords. Hold my hand. There you go. <gasps> I've never been so high. <laughs> Your father brought me here long ago, when we were just 19 winters. Together we stacked stones into cairns. These? Yes. Think of this as a test of mind and wit. Stack the cairn stones high and wide into any shape you like. How do I win? You win by playing. An acquired mind is your reward. Let the air and nature's beauty soothe you. Attack on sight here.
Some coins have been taken from me. Green footprints. Could be a child. What's this? There's something odd going on in these woods. The gods here. What? Within an eternal twilight. You live here? Where are your parents? Questions, questions. Those can wait. Let's go up first. <gasps> Welcome to St. Martin's Land, weary traveler. Mm. Tarfos? 
I thought we got away, sis. Your hands and feet are swift, children, but your stealth needs work. Ah, oh, we were close. We will give you what we took, traveler. But first, you must listen to our story. <clears throat> Once, a long, long time ago, in a far away land, there was a sister and a brother. I was getting there. But yes, and a brother. They lived happily in the land of St. Martin, all by themselves, with delicious beans. Lots and lots of beans, and cake! But now, life is harder. There are no more beans or cake, and we have to take what is not ours. We're not bad children, just hungry. Sorry, Large Walker. There is no shame in surviving, and there is nothing you should not do for family. You're wise, Large Walker. Here, take my silver. You were going to anyway. Buy what you need. Only steal if you cannot afford it. Thank you. But I do not think we deserve this. You don't deserve to live like this either. Spend the silver wisely. Here, large walker. A necklace? Yes, it's a St. Martin seal. You're welcome here anytime, large walker. You're one of us now. Visit us, okay? I will. Take care now, small green walkers. Thanks for playing with us, large walker. It would be nice to have some cake, sister. Let's see the cauldron is. I have a What can I get for you? This could be very useful. You look stronger already. You're expecting trouble. This could help you. All done.
Drunk a thorn with album. Must be careful now.
I should not be seen in this area.
Yeah. This place is heavily guarded. The air is filled with the smell of fish guts. Your catch appears generous. Your nets overflow with silver stock. You're lucky. Good warrior. You carry yourself with the spirit of a Drenga. I am a Drenga too. In fishmonger slacks. Is this your way of hiding or protecting those around you? My life has had many chapters. Ragnar Lothbrok himself started as a farmer, you know. He often envied my choice. You rode with the great army of Ragnar. I did. And it was here in England that I saw a land so fertile, you could spit and food would grow. 
Waters teeming with fish. I met a Saxon lady, Athelswig, and we have made a fine life for ourselves. The best clams in all of East Anglia. But now I must show my son the way of the Dranger. How to die with honor. I respect your desire for an honorable death. I want my son to watch. He should have the final word when I pass. He will not see me die on a bed, coughing like a crow. I accept your fight. We'll show your boy how Dranger do their bidding. Do you hear this, son? Today you will see the color of the blood that made you. The color of courage and honor above all. Any weapon will do! Now you see, we are Dranger! with a twig or a stone. Be my boy, my dear love. Now, you know. Father, I, I understand. I see the glory you spoke of. Go now to Valhalla, and join Ragnar in the war eternal. Your father is a fine warrior, a Drenger to the end. One day, I will honor him. ...and make of myself a Dranger.
Know the witch. Suffering hard times, I see. I do not think the horse can hear you. That horse can't hear anything. So how does he... Uh, how did Father do it then? The horse always comes when he summons it. Father was a good horse summon owl, have you know. And I'll ride in his stead. Girl. Ha, my summoning worked. 
Your horse is a little unsettled, but safe. I, Esther the Great Summoner, first of a name, thank ye. Next time, summon a bridge. If father was still alive, he would be proud of me. <laughs> Wouldn't he, Skin Polly? Wait, what did I call you earlier? <laughs> Maybe the horse will have a better life now. No, you little rat! Just Come it. back with my Go horse! With If it isn't Eivor of the Raven Clan. How do you know me? People talk. I've heard all the rumors that Eivor the Dane is a coward, a cur, and a leech. Perhaps you can swing that wee axe on your belt, but I doubt you've much talent for speech. You might be surprised. Let us duel. Well, I'll need a wager first. Here's the silver. Now begin. To all those whom I speak, they say Eivor's a clod. Then you're speaking to fools and their knowledge is flawed. Well, not bad. They say you're a coward who runs from a fight. And they're sorely mistaken. I'm known for my might. Interesting. Interesting. Silent whispers all claim that you're terribly dense. Then you've clearly misheard them. My wit is immense. Oh, you looked out with that one. Well, what a surprise. Eivor of the Raven Clan is a true talent. I'm shocked. Don't believe everything you hear, unless it touches on my flighting. Then heed every word. Take the coin, and know that only praise will henceforth cross my lips. What's happening? Finier? Oh, no, not unless Hafton sent you. Whoever you are, I want to know why there's no king on East Anglia's throne. Because the man in question ain't been married yet. Once he is, East Anglia will have its king, and little else. Which man? Uh, you know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with a backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attacked my clan. I want to know why and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. 
I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who cannot keep the Danes in line? Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the arse and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. And no courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham, who was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl, made it clear. Who wants a Saxon king married to a Dane for a greater show of unity? But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft. The settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. These are just arrows, plain and simple. Why are you so passionate about these arrows? When Father James blessed the late King Edmund, he blessed that holy throne and all upon it. The blessing did not take. That depends on your opinion of King Edmund. I wonder... I have studied those arrows, but never dared touch them. But since you plucked them anyway, would you sell them to me? I'm willing to sell, but the King Edmund arrows might be mixed up with my own. I've the eye of an archivist, able to sort new from old. The kingdom's history shall be restored. Just sell them all to me. These arrows are the very same that pierced good Saint Edmund. I must study these holy relics. Thank you. Shall we lock horns? Down it faster than me, and you are the victor. Got a wager in you. Put your silver on the barrel. All in. Skull. Ha! We drink. <laughs> The rhythm bounces. Skull! 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 Skull!
Ten. What a handsome cat. Hello, friend of Freya. What's wrong? Hey, Nelly, come back, you snake. Here, little one. Got you, little mouse biter. him since old Cutter died. But he sure loves you. Do you want to join my crew, Nali? You would make a fine raider, I think. Every longship needs a brave cat for luck. And for the rats. Looks like I have another raider.
This area is off limits. Troll magic. 